Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a day. This is my little French corner on YouTube where I love to share with you my love for France and I love to talk about French beauty, fashion and lifestyle. Today we're talking about French beauty and fashion essentials for spring 2023. I did my own edit and I would love to hear from you. So join me in the comments and let me know what are your beauty essentials for this spring season and also some fashion essentials. If you're new here, a very special welcome. If you enjoy beauty talks, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here as part of this beauty community and if you're returning welcome back dear friends I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section we're starting with beauty and then I'm going to move on to my fashion suggestions my number one beauty essential is going to be a good high quality SPF that you can use under makeup. And I have two suggestions here, two favorites. One is a little bit more expensive. This one is the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro SPF 50. It is a gel texture and it doesn't leave a white cast and it works with all of the foundations that I have. I've tried it with a lot of foundations, probably more than 10 foundations. It works equally well. And the other one is going to be a little bit more affordable. This one is by Eucerin and it's the Oil Control SPF 50. Again, this one looks invisible on the skin. It doesn't leave a white cast. I think that these two are suitable for all skin tones. So even if you have deeper skin tone, they're not going to leave a white cast and they work beautifully. I usually splurge a little bit more on the SPF that I wear in the city and then I choose more affordable SPFs when I'm at the beach because you have to reapply it quite often when you are in the sunshine a lot. Number two is going to be a flawless foundation or tinted moisturizer that looks just like skin and that has some skincare benefits, preferably, because in the spring summer season usually skin becomes a little bit more sensitive because of the sunshine. My personal favorite is the Sisley Phytohydro Tan because this is a tinted moisturizer with skincare properties. I have very sensitive skin and I find that when I use this tinted moisturizer my skin never gets irritated and it gives me skin-like finish. It's not too dewy. I think that it's suitable for all skin types, even for oily skin. It has some natural dewy finish and it doesn't emphasize pores. It sinks into the skin so beautifully. You can build this build this up. And then my other favorite is a classic foundation. Uh, and this one is the Prisma Libra Skin Caring Glow Foundation. This is the second bottle that I'm purchasing from this foundation. The reason why I love it is because it looks exactly like skin. Nobody's going to notice that you're wearing foundation. It doesn't emphasize pores, fine lines. It looks absolutely beautiful. I would not recommend this foundation during the summer months for people who have very oily skin, but for everyone else, this is a beautiful foundation. I have combination skin and I have been enjoying to use this foundation in the summer. It just works so beautifully on my skin and I feel confident that people don't know that I'm wearing foundation when I use this foundation. So it is a beautiful product from Givenchy. And then I have one more suggestion for those of you who are, let's say, a little bit more naughty. Let's Face it, not everyone is wearing SPF on a daily basis. You should be wearing your SPF. This is a must, but let's admit it sometimes and some people just prefer to skip the SPF if they are they know that they're going to spend the whole day in the office. So if you're one of those people, this is the foundation that I'm going to recommend. This is a cushion foundation from Christian Dior and this is the Dream Skin Moist and Perfect Cushion Foundation. It has SPF 50. It comes with a little refill, so you're getting two cushions here. This one looks invisible and in, on the skin. It has skincare benefits because it's from the Capture to Towel line of Dior. So I can feel the skincare benefits for my skin. It looks invisible on the skin, but it offers SPF 50. Next, we're moving on to the magic wand that nobody talks about. And this is the YSL Touche Eclat. French women are usually famous for having beautiful skin and they often are going to go out without wearing any foundation or any tinted moisturizer. They're just going to wear their skincare and that's it. But they're often going to have something like this in their handbag. This is something that I always keep in my handbag because I'm one of those people that rarely wears foundation on a daily basis. Most of the days I'm just going to use my skincare, then apply SPF, a little bit of powder, maybe just to tone down the shine, and then I'm going to go out foundation free. But I'm always going to have this pen in my handbag. It's the YSL Touche Radiant Touch 
pen concealer if you're confident with the way your skin looks or if you just need a little bit of help sometimes you can apply this one on the go it is a beautiful product that nobody talks about it looks exactly like skin it's very very light and you can apply it here and there under the eyes and all over the face um, when you need and where you need you can just blend with your fingertips right now i'm using the shade number two because it matches um, my whole face the reason why i'm choosing the shade two is because i can just apply it here and there all over my face if i need let's say if i'm outside and suddenly i need to meet someone i want to just look a little bit better so this is like that's why i like to call it the magic wand i love it it's I remember that years ago this was advertised like eight hours of sleep in a click it's exactly what it is i think well not exactly eight hours sleep in a click but it's a beautiful product that is worth checking out next for spring a good powder is a must because this product can change your whole look and it can make your pores disappear literally so my pick is going to be the Givenchy Prisma Libre loose powder this is a powder that i have been repurchasing for many years and i always go back to this one there is nothing that i can compare to this powder it is completely invisible i like to apply this one with a damp sponge and just tap press into my face until it erases pores and imperfections i like to usually focus this powder on the places where i have pores because i don't like my pores to be visible so if i have pores or any kind of imperfections it's almost like a filter this powder so i really love this one next a beautiful bronzer or a nude blush are must-haves for the spring season because they can help you to sculpt the face beautifully and my pick here is going to be the oversized Le Beige chanel healthy glow powder i have mine in the shade sunshine light the reason why i love this one is because i can use it also as a blush like i used today something in the middle between a blush and a bronzer so it can add a little bit of color to the face and it has this blurring effect which is something that i absolutely love especially for the spring season it somehow blurs imperfections and blurs pores at the same time it's a beautiful product another favorite that i have is a blush from chanel but it's not available in all countries so this is the blush in elegance again this is a nude blush that i absolutely love it can sculpt the face in a beautiful way but um, again, it's not available in all countries. I'm going to make sure to list all of the products that I'm mentioning in the description box. Next, we're moving on to lipstick. And contrary to the popular belief, French women don't always wear a bright Hollywood red lipstick. Often they're going to wear a nude lipstick and depending on their skin tone, they're going to choose between a more brownish nude color or a pinkish nude color, but they are usually going to choose a statement nude color that is going to complement the skin tone beautifully it's not going to be the traditional grayish nude color that is going to be very pale and that is going to literally disappear um, and make you look very pale and washed out if you want to know how to choose the perfect nude lipstick for your skin tone i have a video that i'm going to link here and for a nude lipstick i have two picks one is mademoiselle and this is from the Rouge Coco line. This one is a beautiful nude color. It's a statement nude color, actually, that is great for a business environment. And this is the color that can take you from day to night. And if you prefer something that is going to be a little bit more pink, because I know that a lot of people gravitate to a pink color in the spring season, my other option is going to be the Sisley lipstick in number 20, Rose Portofino. And this is the Le Fito Rouge and this lipstick is beautiful it can be used on the lips and on the cheeks as well very successfully this is one of the reasons why i love this lipstick so much so you don't need to carry a blush it just looks perfect applied on the cheeks and then you always need a statement red or fuchsia color and since this is the spring season i have chosen a beautiful fuchsia color this is one of my all-time favorite colors from dior and this is 766 rose harpers it is a beautiful combination of it's more like a pink color but it has a little bit of reddish as well this is the color that i'm wearing today on my lips and i have applied this color lightly i haven't built up the color because if i build up the color it becomes a lot more vibrant pink but if i only tap it on my lips you can diffuse the color a lot like i did today but i think that this is a very beautiful happy color for the spring season so 
next we're moving on to a beautiful eyeshadow palette and my choice for this spring season is going to be Chanel's T7 Dome. It is incredibly beautiful neutral palette that has a pop of color and I absolutely love it because this is the eyeshadow palette that can take you from day to night. You can use it in the office and you can use it for a night out. You can intensify the look if you want to and you can create multiple looks using this palette. It's beautiful and when everyone is wearing pinks and purples and violets on their eyes in the spring season I usually like to go for this kind of color combination because it is different and it is a lot more elegant and you always attract a lot more attention when you're not wearing the same colors as other people. Next I want to mention a beautiful brown coal eyeliner. This is something very little but it's going to make a huge difference in your eye makeup and even though I have quite dark hair I like love to use this kind of a brown coal eyeliner in the spring season. It just helps to define the eyes a little bit and even if you're not wearing any eyeshadows you can just um, smudge the eyeliner on your eyes, apply a little bit of mascara and the look is going to be beautiful. So so my favorite one is Brun Cuivre from Chanel. It is the perfect brown color. I think that it's going to work beautifully on blondes and brunettes as well. And then we're moving on to fragrance. For this spring, I have chosen three fragrances. If you're interested to see some timeless French perfumes, I'm going to link a video here. This was the previous, one of the previous episodes of French for a Day, where I talked about iconic French fragrances that made history and some contemporary French fragrances that are beautiful for the spring season. For this spring and for this video, I have chosen three French perfumes that I absolutely love. My number one is going to be Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum. This one is a timeless fragrance. You can wear it during all seasons, but I usually love to wear it in the spring season. This is a beautiful feminine and elegant fragrance. It has lavender, which is an interesting note because this is a note that is usually used in men's fragrances. But I think that this adds a unique vibe to this fragrance. It has also iris, rose, jasmine, sandalwood, a touch of patchouli and vanilla in the base. I love this fragrance because it's elegant, it's timeless, you can wear it in the office very safely and you can wear it for a night out as well. This is a safe, elegant, timeless beauty. Then the other fragrance that I have is a little bit more playful and this one is from Chanel. This is the Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum. You've probably seen this fragrance in some of my previous videos. I love this fragrance because it's like a spring in a bottle. This one is a lot more, let's say, a lot more playful, a lot more girlish compared to Mon Guerlain. This fragrance is a classic spring beauty and always brings me so many compliments. So it has a citrusy opening, but it's not sharp. It's a very elegant and beautiful citrus opening. Then it has jasmine, rose and white musk in the base. I absolutely adore this fragrance. The opening is slightly fruity because it has grapefruit and it is one of the timeless beautiful perfumes that I love to wear in the spring season. It's gorgeous. And then I have one fragrance that is for a night out and this is a fragrance that a lot of men love. This is my night out fragrance and it's the Lancome's Tresor Midnight Rose. It's one of my all-time favorites. I would not really wear it in the office because it's a little bit more playful. Also a lot of men love this fragrance and find it very attractive. And that that's why for the office I would choose the other two fragrances, but this one is truly seductive, beautiful fragrance. So this one has pink pepper, rose, jasmine, raspberry and then vanilla in the base. It is as beautiful as a night out in Paris in the springtime. We're moving on to fashion and for this part of the video I'm going to be looking at my laptop and I'm going to be posting photos right here. The first must-have fashion item for the spring season is a beautiful blazer. This is this one piece that can elevate your whole look. It should work well with jeans and white t-shirt or with trousers. It should work well with a dress as well. This is this one piece that is irreplaceable in anyone's wardrobe. Now, a while ago, I talked about how to always look put together the French way. I'm going to make sure to link this video here. And this is one of the items that I mentioned that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Beautiful blazer is going to be irreplaceable. It's going to elevate the look instantly and it's going to make you look 10 times 
times better. Now I've chosen a couple of blazers here that I really like. This is a piece where I would splurge. There are a lot more affordable options as well, but usually this is the place where I would splurge and I would spend a little bit more money because this is a piece in your wardrobe that if you choose it correctly and if it looks good on you, you can wear it for years to come and if you take care of it. So this is the place where I would splurge a little bit more. Then the next fashion item is going to be a beautiful silk scarf. This is something that Again, a piece that is instantly going to elevate your look. It is also very handy during the spring season because you can wear it around your neck if it's a little bit colder or you can just accessorize with it and you can tie it on your handbag and you can make your handbag look a little bit more interesting. This is something that is always going to come handy. Now here you have all different price ranges. I think that what's important here is to look at the material. A beautiful silk scarf is irreplaceable. So here it all depends on you and on your wardrobe and your preferences but this is usually something that is going to bring a little bit of color to your outfit or something that is going to be timeless beautiful next for this spring comes a tweed garment usually this is going to be a cardigan tweeds are never going to go out of fashion this is one of the timeless pieces but they have been incredibly trendy in the past year and they are trendy now right now so I have some surprisingly beautiful and affordable tweed pieces that you can choose from. These are cardigans and I especially love the green one. So this is a green cardigan with the green and the black. So this can be a statement piece in your wardrobe and you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with jeans, with trousers, you can style it in so many different ways, but I think that it looks incredibly beautiful. And this one is, um, all of the tweets actually that I have chosen here and that I'm going to show you are less than $100. So they are somewhere in between $50 to around $70. So I think that they are quite affordable. And these are beautiful pieces. Next comes a top with contrasting colors. This is something that always looks very elevated and very elegant, polished. And I know that for France, it's usually when we say French fashion, we are usually going to think of the French striped top. This time I decided to mix it up a little bit and this is not going to be a striped top, but it's going to be, again, a very beautiful piece. I'm going to show you a photo here. Now this is one piece that I purchased right away because it is so affordable. It's only $45, $46. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. So you can style it in a lot of different ways. You can wear it with white beige jeans, or you can wear it with black jeans or with trousers, or you can wear it with a skirt. You can style it in a lot of different ways. And this is one piece that it looks expensive, but it's not. Next, we're moving on to the timeless blue jeans. I think that this is a must have for everyone's wardrobe. And you can choose straight leg jeans or you can choose skinny jeans depending on your body shape. Now, if you have bigger leg, legs, um, if your legs are, let's say, more muscular, I would say go for a straight leg jeans. Don't go for the skinny jeans because they are not going to look good unless your legs are quite long and skinny. So here, opt for straight leg jeans, the classic cut jeans. And then another advice that I have for you, just go for high-waisted jeans or regular fit jeans. Don't go for the low-waisted jeans because these are usually going to make your legs appear much shorter. Next, we're moving on to shoes. And for the spring season, I think that beautiful loafers or sports shoes are going to be a must because spring is the season when we usually are going to walk a lot. Now, choose loafers if you are someone that works in an office. I think that these are very easy to style and very easy to walk in. They can be very comfortable. And then sports shoes for the weekend, um, usually these are going to be Adidas shoes. They are very trending in Europe in the past years. I think that everyone has a pair of these Adidas shoes. So they are quite affordable. They are very durable. And then last but not least is going to be beautiful sunglasses. Again, same as with the blazer, I would say this is the place to splurge. 
so this is the place to choose really good high quality sunglasses because this is connected to your eyes health and it's going to prevent um, pigmentation now if you are prone to pigmentation I would say choose a little bit bigger sunglasses that are going to cover this area of the face because this is where pigmentation is triggered the skin here is very thin and then if you don't have issues with pigmentation choose the shape just depending on your preferences but I usually am going to choose sunglasses that are a little bit bigger just make sure that they cover this part so this is a fashion accessory but at the same time it's also connected to your health and it's also connected to protecting this area here that is very delicate and usually you start to see the signs of aging first here so this doubles as a fashion and health item item that is good for your health as well so here is the place to splurge so that was all for today's video. These were my beauty and fashion essentials for spring 2023. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and I can't wait to read your comments. Let me know what are some of your beauty essentials, also what are some of your fashion essentials. And if you have some suggestions for fashion houses that we have to check out, please be sure to leave me a comment. I love learning from you. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching French for a day. A bientôt.